This is that plot where Samantha Butler has been trying to bury her son for weeks now. 13 News asked some tough questions here at the cemetery, and now she has some answers. I don't wish it on no parent. Tears dropped as Samantha Butler talked about the struggle to bury her second son. The grieving mother shared this photo of her son, Big Sean Butler. Metro officers found the 23-year-old in the 3100 block of Forest Manor Avenue on October 20th. When his funeral procession arrived at New Crown Cemetery November 5th. They stopped us at the gate and said it was not going to be a burial because they hadn't been paid. Samantha showed 13 News her son's plot, which is next to her other son, James Butler, killed in September 2017. Wanting desperately to lay Vic Sean to rest, their mother did what she could to pay the balance due. I've been selling dinners, selling breakfast. But that's not enough. No. My baby soul can't even rest because He's sitting in the funeral home still. Well, at the cemetery, 13 News questioned the general manager who brought files to the plot to explain Butler's situation. 13 News also learned of a $1,500 payment mailed to the cemetery last Tuesday, but not yet credited to the Butler's invoices. Although our inquiries helped Samantha's case, the pain still remains. It hurt and it hurt bad. The tears never end, the pain don't end. The general manager here at the cemetery told 13 News that Samantha Butler and her family can finally put her son to rest as early as this week. The general manager at New Crown told Steve that he's bringing Samantha Butler's invoice down to zero. The funeral home holding the uh, body plans to deliver it. That way his mother can put him to rest tomorrow at noon.